Out on that island, down to the to the young Mao. It's uh, Mao Zedong. There's a statue of him when he's a young man at the end of that island. All the other statues are when he's like 60 years old around China that I've seen. And he's usually in one of these positions, you know, with the hand up like a like a Hitler Hitler hello salute or something to the effect. It's a very, very, when you're in the sun, it's very hot, but even when you're in the shade, it's that muggy. I walked up that little, that little mountain or hill and you know, my, my shirt is soaked from the sweat, just from any activity at all, you sweat. And Sandy, you know, she doesn't do a lot of physical exertion, I don't think. And in this type of weather, I'll bet she's in air conditioning all day. So, um, I was thinking about this on the hike up, as I mean, even that hike that I did on the wall, and then when I was at the Grand Tetons, I really came close to pushing my limits too far. And that's where the term you know, a man has got to know his limitations. That's one form of knowing your limitations. How far can you push it without going into an unsafe zone where you end up being injured or killed? You know, it's, it's important to push yourself beyond comfort levels. That's very important. But what's not important is pushing yourself to the point where you have a heat stroke. Go ahead, Bubba, what are you doing? I don't know what they're doing. Neither do I. I haven't gone this way before. Last time I did that hill, I ended up coming out along the river about a mile that way. And then I walked up to this bridge. Interesting looking building there. Dawang Shang Resort. You can do it. You can do it. Not a very confident driver. Bridges and there's a pagoda right there. Hopefully it's coming out. A lot of haze today. See, so in the distance you'll see the back of the head. Straight ahead. So, that's a good, uh, 
That might be a mile. I remember the last time I was going to do it, but I climbed that hill, and then I ended up getting lost coming back. So I had already walked, and I had walked all the way here. So I had probably walked 10 miles, and I'm like, you know what? I've had enough. So we'll go do it today. Because today I got a taxi ride to the hill and got a ride down off the hill. So really I've only walked up the hill in this little bit of walking here. So, But I was telling Sandy that the thing I like about this phone is it tracks my steps. And I don't know what it converts to in feet. I'll have to do a test when I get home. Oh. But you'll see, see, I'm at 94, 9,340 steps. So I shoot for 10,000 a day minimum. And uh, most days I've gotten it. A couple days where I've been traveling, I'd only get 5,000. I don't think I've gotten any less than 5,000 in one day. That's Changsha. Well, this whole thing is Changsha, but... Now, this is an island in the river. Now, I don't remember this specific statistic, but somebody last time I was here told me that this is the largest island in a river in the world. That's what they told me. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Now, you see there's a coast right there on one side of the river, a shoreline. The other shoreline over here is where I did the uh, Down by the River video in Changsha, where all those people were dancing and singing. Yeah, I hate walking with my back to these people. I always prefer to see them coming. the hill where we just were where you see that tower yeah and I came down this side of the hill last time into some village some art village and it came out right around where that head is that statue of Mao so I had to walk back cross there's no bridge down there this is why it's always better to go to these places on a weekday not a weekend because you can see there's no people on the weekend I'm sure this is wall-to-wall -wall people where you can barely walk down here me I prefer this you can also take a trolley ride there. And I'll just walk it. That sign back there that I photographed said it's five kilometers from the northern point to the southern point of the island. Five kilometers is 3.1 miles. Now we're starting closer to the northern point. So I'd say, I said it was about a mile by looking at it. So let's say it's four kilometers. Well, that's that's more than uh, that's more than two miles. So maybe we'll find out. Off we go. This is probably why Sandy passed out. It's 99, it's 99 degrees. Good air quality though, that's good. If this is good, you don't want to see bad. 
Okay, the southernmost tip of the island is right ahead. It's too bad they don't have ferries across. I'd take that instead of having to walk back. So that's uh, Mao Zedong. Back when he actually had hair. Well, it's even hotter than it was before because the sun has come out. I don't know what my phone says for weather. It says it's 99 still, but it's hotter. Well, this is the young Mao.